Hey there guys, Mike here, Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays Collections back with a uh, kind of a special spotlight today. Um, I wanted to uh, pay a little attention to the actor Frank Wolf. Um, he's best known for the, the uh, movies he made in Italy. He's an American actor from uh, originally from, I believe, San Francisco. Um, and uh, he uh, tragically died in 1971 uh, while on um, location filming a movie. I'm trying to think of which movie it was. I think it was like a Giallo or something like that. Uh, but uh, he had recently had a divorce or a breakup or something. And uh, he uh, committed suicide. And it was very tragic and sudden and shocking uh, to the film world. And um, I just thought I would uh, spotlight some of the cool movies he was in because he was never really, except for one movie that I'm going to show here, um, he mostly was kind of, he, he wasn't the star. He was like, you know, third or fourth, you know, kind of build. Um, he, he didn't make a small, he, 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 he made a, con, you know, considerable uh, contribution to the movies he was in. I'm trying. I'm trying to put it out where he wasn't so much a, a supporting actor, but um, but you know you always known Frank, uh, Frank Wolf and in, in in these movies. And I guess I'll show one of the more. Uh, I guess his probably his most famous. This is probably be his first most famous movie that m most people know him as. They may not even know his name, but they know who he is. Um, uh, 1969's Sergio Leone's um, Once Upon a Time in the West. And uh, he's he's at the beginning of the movie. He's the uh, the redheaded guy with the, the big red mustache, and he's got the, 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 uh, the family... Are, are preparing the big dinner because uh, they're going to welcome their new stepmother. Um, he, what is what is his name? McBain? I think it's McBain or something like that. Um, who, uh, at the very beginning of, of the movie, when uh, uh, Henry Fonda and the gang come and, you know, assassinate the whole family and stuff like that. It wasn't a big part uh, in the movie. But uh, he's very memorable because probably because he's one of the first characters you see in the movie, so you, he's always memorable that way. Uh, but even in 1969, I mean, he had been in some uh, you know movies where he was basically the star and stuff and everything. Uh, but man, yeah, check check this out for many different reasons. It's probably the greatest, one of the greatest spaghetti western of all time uh it's a lot of people's favorite um i would have to go with another sergio leone uh the good the bad and the ugly just because it goes so far back with me um being even the first i guess quote spaghetti western i ever saw you know many years ago so check out this one though this is equally as good i mean it kind of flip-flops with me this could be my favorite da, da, da. but very good once upon a time in the west check that out for numerous reasons charles bronson you know but this this movie um, he's really well. Let me let me do this one. But this is the movie that kind of gave me the ideal the other night to kind of just you know put the put the light on Frank Wolf for a minute because he he's very memorable. You know his face. Maybe you just don't know his name or something like that. But he's he's pretty well known in the spaghetti western, you know. You know, fandom. You know, we as as a fan, I you know of westerns like this. I I know them, but I was watching this movie the other night. Now, this is from 1967. This is two years earlier, and uh, this is a movie where he uh, he co-stars with uh, the great uh, Eraldo. Uh, let, me, let me let me try to do this again. Uh, Aldo for Haldro. I can't even say his name. Gosh, it's so tricky. Uh, but it's also got George Hilton in it. And uh, this is a really cool German uh, DVD edition that I have of this. It's very hard to find, or at least for me at the time. So I, I got this set that had it in it. Uh, but this is called The um, the Last of the Bad Men. And uh, it is awesome. It is really, really good. Love this movie. 
Um, and, and Frank Wolf, I don't know if I should, should I give away some of the spoilers because it really, I won't even, I, I don't even want to tell you anything about this because there, there's some stuff you discover about his character and different things, you know, I know people can just Google all this stuff, but I, I don't want to be responsible. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but anyways, uh, Last of the Bad Men, very good, uh, teams up with George Hilton, uh, it's got Elrod, Elrodo Ferraldo. God, I can't, why can't I say his name? I just can't. I don't know why I can't. But anyways, he is one of those um, faces that you know. He's been in so many movies. He's always the bad guy, pretty much. I think he was a good guy once in maybe one movie I've seen him in. Uh, but man, this is really good. Now, if you you, you got to find it. This is the German release, so it's Dizzy Dear Gear. Um, so yeah, find this movie, Last of the Bad Men, from 1967. Uh, very good. One, one of the quintessential Frank Wolf roles in Spaghetti Westerns. Really good. Uh, but this is probably the, I would say, the third. Oh, this may be the second movie where people really know his face they know that guy where he plays the the sheriff that comes to this town to try to sort out all this uh violence between these uh townspeople and these uh god what i'm trying to think what the other people were there's like you know the the story of the guy that owns the whole town and you know what i mean he controls everything and he's 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 created a civil war uh, in this town, basically, and uh, everything. Well, let me tell you more about this. But this is the Great Silence. Uh, this is from uh, 1969. Uh, yeah, 1969, 68, um, or 68, I think. It, yeah, the Great Silence. It's also got uh, Klaus Kinski, who's no stranger to spaghetti westerns, and uh jean louis Tringent, uh who's really really good in this he's he's done some like uh uh yeah of course he's uh french and he's done you know a lot of you know action movies and stuff in in um in europe done a lot of different stuff uh, but really i just know him from this and like i think a one of the melville movies uh, or something, but anyways, this is a one of the very best movies uh, Spaghetti Westerns ever made, directed by uh, Sergio Corbucci, probably his best movie next to, to Django, and uh, Frank Wolf comes to town as the sheriff, and he's trying to you know straighten everything out, and he's got a very very memorable role in this, and I think he's really has a really great performance. I mean, classic, one of his very best performances and everything. So yeah, the great silence or, uh, what is it? Uh, well, gosh, I was going to try to say it in Italian because I can, but I can't remember it. Anyways, the great silence. And finally, guys, uh, this, this was a movie. This is another kind of, uh, uh, kind of a small role, for for him in this one um but this is from 1968 also uh and this is a, a kino blu-ray uh it's a 4k restoration of um, a movie directed by i thought i knew oh was it enzo yeah enzo castellari uh this is uh kill them all and come back alone uh excellent uh, film noir, uh, film noir, uh, spaghetti western, um, with by the great Enzo Castellari. Uh, he did so many good, uh, you know, Euro crime movies and stuff, also. Uh, but this one stars Chuck Connors. You know, he had a he was in a lot of movies, but I think he was bigger on television and stuff more so, uh, because he was in a lot of stuff on TV. Um, this has got Frank Wolf, Chuck Connors. Uh, Franco City, uh, Ken Wood, and yeah, so yeah, there you go. So it's basically a Chuck Connors and Frank Wolf movie. Um, so it's really good. Um, I mean, I don't want to tell you the story, this is you know, pretty common 
spaghetti western movie but really good there's a, there's a lot of different editions of this uh, in recent years have come out really nice blu-rays there's a uh, studio canal blu-ray release of this also um and then i think uh i thought there was a special edition and then there's a bunch of german editions of it and stuff so so there you go guys this, this is my little my little way of kind of saluting frank wolf as one of the you know unsung uh actors in spaghetti westerns who just you know his face you may not know his name uh but 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 he's very memorable and everything he's been in and uh just kind of a sad just a sad end to his life he could have he could have done a lot more stuff i could see him doing a lot of euro crime movies in the 70s and and so on and stuff so he's a good you know he's a good actor so there you go guys thanks for watching this thanks for giving me a little bit of your time today um in your comments let me know what you think um give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, check out my other videos. So until next time, guys, I'm Mike. You guys take it easy and watch good movies.